And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2. Um, currently browsing the shop here where we left off, we're selling stuff and getting stuff we need. Still got to do a bit of farming before we can continue on with main quest and we got to make sure we've got plenty of molly so we can make plenty of that. Just got to get ready for anything we could possibly encounter because we still have to go through the tunnel system and if I remember correctly that was rough for that tunnel system, so I want to be prepared. We still have to take down the wind turbine, which that's also going to be rough because that's a bunch of... Do melee. come again! So, anyways, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Get what you need. I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how the hell we're going to climb up there. I think I see a way we can do it. But I physically I go over there and try it, so. <laughs> Hope everyone's enjoying this series so far. Uh, finding a lot of unexpected I'm things popping up that weren't in the game previously. <laughs> Damn. You know those guys popping up during the day. They're supposed to be doing that. to do this if I can't pop up like that is to come down here go into right here which is a terrible idea there's a shit ton of zombies usually in here usually a pretty freaking terrible idea Container. It's on the frickin' roof. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to remember where I went in the storyline. I went out here. Did it make me climb? Pretty sure we have to go up more. Inhibitor container detected. I know it's detected, it's way up there. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to try, but uh, I have a high feeling that I don't have enough stamina to do this. Because I've got to climb this pole here, 
Did I gotta jump to this one? Did I gotta jump to that one? And get up there. Alright. Well, that wasn't a good start already. Let's let that. Do I have any stems to make it so my stamina will last longer? Stamina. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. It's probably a terrible idea. Ah, oh, it's gonna make me spawn here. Yeah. Uh, maybe I won't. That's a bummer. All right, it's time to go farming. So we'll go. Just because you got holes in your. What's this? All right, so we'll work our way back here now. Your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on. Your business. Come back and see me. Come on outside. 
Give me, give me. See if there's more stuff upstairs. It's not, it looks like it's downstairs. Glitch zombie. Yeah. 
Very specifically in this building, like, alrighty. Hubert, you here? fun playing around there. Dodger sent me. Definitely some parkouring. Hello? I got nothing to say to you. Get the f how'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. Dodger sent me. Dodger? Uh, who is... Oh, he told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. I bet. You see that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. You'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor the Reach Dodger, there was a military installation here, set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> huh. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here, take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Yes, yeah, talk about this base more. So, this is a military base? Yeah, they sprang up all over the city at the start of the outbreak. The base has a military side and a civilian side. The military side has the good stuff. The civilian side probably has more infected than loot. Look for the military entrance and you can't go wrong. Once you're inside, be careful. Getting to the storage area won't be easy. The setup usually includes generators. Find them to fire up their UV lights. <laughs> that'll help against the biters that'll be camping out there. 
What happened to your leg? Got jumped by bandits as I approached the site. Barely managed to get away. If you don't do this, Dodger will kill me. I think we should do some farming before we do this. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Not that I'm in a hopeless... Alrighty, let's take a look at our inventory before we decide if we're going in there. Yeah, we should probably the situation, do some farming. but Can you hurry? Yeah. All right, time to do some dangerous farming. Woo! That's fell. Biomarker from St. Joseph's? Let me see. Best what, what can I do for you? Where did you get it? A fine selection. Decisive. Could always use these. Your design? I did get it in St. Joseph's. Why? My design. My idea. Although, no, the one you're wearing is slightly different from the one I put together during the summer of 2024. Yes, the original biomarker was much more useful. All right, I'm interested. Keep talking. How is it special? Ooh, where should I start? So, beyond monitoring the concentration of THV infectious agents in your blood, the initial biomarker organically enhanced the synthesis of phosphocreatine, providing phosphates to ADP molecules and stimulating the... Whoa, 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 English, please. It made people stronger and faster. Okay, now you have my attention. But how come people aren't using this model then? Let's say there were minor side effects. Such as? Doesn't matter. What matters is my obnoxious rival, Dr. Katsumi Kobayachi, then head of the GRE, deemed it too dangerous. She locked it up in a safe somewhere inside that building over there. St. Joseph's Hospital? Exactly. I can see you're not that fresh in the city. Wanna know how to open the safe and get my original biomarker? Sure. I found a note on Katsumi's desk. Seems like she encrypted the code of the safe through some sort of riddle. What's the riddle? What becomes smaller when you turn it upside down? That's the first digit of the safe. Yes. The second one is an odd number. Take away a letter and it becomes even. What number is it? And the third one? A little girl goes to the store and buys one dozen eggs. As she is going home, all but three eggs break. How many eggs are left unbroken? Now, find the safe in Katsumi's office in St. Joseph's Hospital and use these three digits to open it. You should find my biomarker inside of it. There's the note with the riddle in case you need more time. Mm -hmm. even happened. That's about the uh. 
All right, farming. <laughs> Water the soil each morning and each evening. And it nuked you up. A little. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. Zombie Sachi, so we can upgrade the top. Oh, he's pretty good. See my boy. Pleased with your purchase. You promised. Are you even thinking? I've never seen so much jobs so bad. I'm not your kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over again. Thank <laughs> you. 
lot of zombies. All right. Farm still kind of works, still not 100% effective like it used to be. Though.
myself.
I would say it was definitely worth doing. My boy. Huh. That's my own special model. Supposedly, if you max that out, um, supposedly you just unlock doors. You don't have to have to sit there and needlepoint it. You can see it's the quality, uh, yes. Fantastic. That little bit.
Check the timestamp here. 53 minutes. Okay, we'll go a little longer here. We'll do this one part more and then I'll end it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. I'm just going to constantly go farm zombies at this point and save you guys a little bit of time. I doubt you guys want to see me sit there and constantly farm zombies for money and trophies. But that's mostly what I'm doing right now is just farming for money and trophies because you need these trophies. You come over here to this shop here. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll never finish with you coming back every four minutes. Um, okay, so in order to upgrade this, we need infected trophy rare and un infected trophy uncommon. So, this is the unique one. You can get this from like uh, that tank thing that has that hammer thing that swings you in certain infection zones. You can get rare. Infected trophies from those Vartites, which is those big um, zombies that were constantly getting. There was two zombies in the last one, the one before we just did there, the big ones, the ones that look like they have a lot of muscle in them. That's how you get those. So from goons, bull loaders, and banshees, uh, chargers, demolishers, follow attacks, and just normal infected. So, yep, I gotta go farm up a bunch of these right here mostly, and I gotta upgrade these, and upgrade these a little bit, and just get everything upgraded to a certain point where we can really use it, basically. Ooh, that's gonna be a fun one to upgrade. 
and that requires uniques. No one too. Alrighty. Anyways, I'll see you guys again in the next part. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. And I'll see you guys again soon.